if you create music in GarageBand or any other digital audio workstation on your iPhone or your iPad, you may want to know about audio unit extension instruments. They're a great way to add some additional sounds to your GarageBand or your other projects. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all about how to use them. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And today we are talking about how to use audio unit extension instruments to add new sounds to your library here in GarageBand. But the same thing works with any other digital audio workstation on your iPhone or your iPad. So let's jump in now and firstly define what audio unit extensions are all about and then how we can download and use them in our projects. So let's start with a bit of background information about using external instruments here in GarageBand. If we tap on the plus button in the bottom left here and we're hearing the external instruments, what you can see here is that there's two different ways we can add an external instrument. There's audio unit extensions and there's inter-app audio. Now, while in this video we're focused on audio unit extensions, it's important to understand the difference between inter-app audio and audio unit or AUV3 plugins. So let's get started by just showing you what inter-app audio does so then you'll see why audio unit extensions are so much more powerful. So we'll tap on into app audio here and what I'll do, here's all of the different apps I have installed on my iPhone that can actually support into app audio and send their audio into GarageBand. So let's tap on this sensual sax because this is a very cool plugin that I've been playing with lately. It sounds like that. What you'll notice here is that in the top right corner, we have our GarageBand logo, and we have a little transport control in the top right here to play, to go back to the start of the track and to record. Now that's because we're actually in this separate app and we're gonna send from this app back to GarageBand as an audio file. So if we tap on the GarageBand logo there, we're back here in GarageBand. You can see there on our input, it's actually got the sensual sax. If we tap the input there in the top left, we've got into app audio as our input, and this is basically creating an audio send from this app directly into GarageBand. So if we were to record with this, what it's going to do is record it as a WAV file, not as a MIDI file, meaning we won't have the ability to actually edit this after the fact. So let's record a quick bit of audio so I can show you what we mean. So to go back to our instrument, we actually tap the microphone icon up here in the top left to go back to our standard microphone, our audio recorder screen, but then we're gonna tap on the Sensual Sax uh, app logo there, and now we're ready to go. So if I hit record in the top right, it'll start playing my GarageBand project and I can play along in this app. Let's do that now. And we'll hit pause and that's gonna pause our recording. To go back to our GarageBand track to see what we've done, we tap on the little GarageBand icon and there you can see we've got our audio recorder track done. If we tap on the tracks view and come back into here, you heard I made a mistake there at the start and I kinda of did that on purpose just to show you that we can't actually edit this now. So this, if we solo it, we can play it back. So it's in there as a sound, and if we play it along with the rest of our track, it'll play back. But we have no editing capabilities. We can still do everything else we can do with any other track. We can add plugins, we can add EQ, we can cut and copy and split and loop and do all those good things. But unlike a regular virtual instrument track, we can't actually change it or edit it or do anything with it after the fact. So audio units uh, do something a bit different. Interapp Audio only records it as a WAV file and the audio track, once you see how cool audio unit plugins are, you'll know why Apple are actually removing Interapp Audio. So I the lead a bit there. The interapp audio is actually being deprecated in iOS version 13 and iPad OS, which is coming up very soon, or if you're in the future, it may have already happened. It'll probably stick around for maybe six or 12 months as a legacy feature, but audio unit is definitely the way of the future. So let's stop talking about the past and dive into the future by showing you how audio unit plugins work here in GarageBand. 
So let's hit mute on that track, and this time what we're gonna do is tap the plus button again, but this time instead of interrupt audio, let's use this as an audio unit extension. So we'll tap on AU here, and here we go. Here's a couple of plugins. Now, I'm demoing the Sensual Sax app because I think it's cool, and I've got a full review coming up, or if you're in the future, it'll be linked up the top and down below right now. But I've also got the DRC, which is a very cool analog synth plugin. So I'll show you that, and that one is free. So if you do wanna follow along at home, down the DRC plugin. I'll be demoing that at the end of this video, but let's jump into Sensual Sax now. We'll tap on that one, and this will load up the instrument, but here, instead of it actually being external, it's loaded up right here in GarageBand. So if we tap on our little dial in the top right here, you can see it drops down our interface, and we can actually make our changes on the app right here. We can go to our full settings, and we can dial in all of the settings that we want to on our saxophone here, right within GarageBand. Band, and then we can play it right here using our standard keyboard or a MIDI keyboard plugged in externally if we want to as well. So I think that is super cool and it's a much better way to record this. The other added benefit is exactly what I was talking about before, that this will record as MIDI. So let's... Let's hit record and record our sound in now and I'll show you the difference here with an audio unit plugin. All right, we'll hit pause on that one. Let's go back to our track view. You'll see already that it's a green track, not a blue track, and there it is. We've actually got the ability now to edit this. So if we solo this one and play it back. And I am deliberately again made a mistake there because the beauty of audio unit plugins is we can now tap, tap again, and go to edit. And yes, you guessed it. We can now come in here and fix this bung note. So. We'll drop it down like that, and now we'll hit done, and if we come back and bring this back into our mix, you'll hear... My timing's a little bit off there, but again, the cool thing is we can use things like quantization, we can edit notes, we can do all of the settings that we can do with any other virtual instrument track. It basically treats this like any of your pianos, organs, keyboards that you have here in GarageBand, which is really super cool and a great and efficient way to actually record and get an additional sound in here, but still have the flexibility to be able to edit that sound after the fact. However, if you don't want to get the Central Sax app and you're into uh, trying this out, you want to try it for yourself and you want a free option, let's show you now how to use this cool analog synth in the audio unit plugin. So once again, we're going to tap on the big plus button down the bottom here. We're going to go audio unit extension, and here is the DRC. I might have called it DWC. DRC, which is a cool analog synth. So... There is our standard synth sound. If we tap in the top right here, we've got a whole lot of options in here. We can adjust our oscillators, our filter. We can change the mixing of our sound and we can do a whole bunch in here. So I won't go into detail about this. If you'd like to see a detailed review of this plugin, let me know in the comments and we'll circle back to it. But for now, I just wanted to show you the functionality so you can download this one for free, throw it into GarageBand and start playing around and learning how audio units work because they very much will be the way of the future for adding plugins to GarageBand. So let's just hit record and we'll record a little synth part in here. It's not really gonna match the type of song, uh, but just to show you how this works. Hit our pause button. There you hear a little artifact at the end there, and that is the thing. Like sometimes when you're sort of using plugins and things are coming in and out, it is having to do a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes with your audio, and sometimes you'll get some sort of weird little thing like that. It hasn't affected our recording here. It's all looking fine. So if we again solo this and hit play... So let's bring it back into our mix now and take a listen to it with the rest of our instruments. So it's brought it back in there and it's sounding good. Now, whenever you're using anything external to GarageBand, your mileage may vary. Sometimes you'll get some weird bugs and glitches. 
just like that one. I promise that wasn't on cue, but sometimes you get things like that happening where it's just going to make a different sound. It may crash. It may cause other issues. The, the key thing here is whenever you're using external instruments, whether they're audio unit or they're uh, interapp audio, make sure that you're not using more than you need to. Close down any background apps that you may be running so that you're going to get the best performance out of them. And just accept that sometimes things don't play nicely in the, uh, the app universe. And if you come across bugs, then let the developers know. But uh, yes, the Central Sax app there, that's a really great one. I'll be reviewing that again soon. Grab the DRC because for the cost of $0 and 0 cents, you really can't go wrong, even if it did just make a weird sound there. Uh, and go ahead and learn how to use audio units as your instruments here in GarageBand because they are super cool and super handy. Thanks again for watching. There's two more videos all about GarageBand. Link down below. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon. And I'll see you on the next video.